last time I checked, the Bible hasn't changed. And, and, and yet public opinion polls change all the time. Uh, and this whole gender stuff, uh, that, that's like an identity spectrum. It has nothing to do with the physicality of gender and what God created. So how do you kind of navigate those roads for you personally and professionally? Well, on a professional level, I have to remind myself that this is a constitutional republic. It's not a theocracy and that we have to operate by allowing people to have their constitutional rights. And I certainly intend to do that. Uh, and I certainly intend to carry that job, that job out no matter what office I hold. But on a personal level, uh, I am going to continue to speak at churches and to church groups and to other Christians about the dangers of the things that we see in our society today, the dangers of this transgender movement. You know, it's fine. If you want to be a transgender person in your home and you want to be that in your personal life, that's fine. But you cannot come to me and tell me as an individual that I have to accept that, that I have to go along with that delusion. And here's where I absolutely draw a hard line. And I'm going to say this time and time again. These folks need to leave these children alone. Leave my children alone. Leave other people's children alone. That is not your domain. And that is not their domain. These highly sensitive adult topics are there for adults, not for children. Stop dragging children into this and stop forcing this on the children. In North Carolina, I'm going to do whatever I can to protect the children of this state from the, from the wiles of these folks that are trying to push these highly sexual topics on them and sexualize children. As far as I'm concerned, it's child abuse, it's child molestation, and we will not stand for it. It's just flat out wrong. I have not met one person in my travels that thinks it's okay for a child to have transgender surgery. I have not met one person in my in my travels that is that has told me to my face that they believe that it's okay to present highly sexual adult materials to children. That is absolute perversion is what that is. And it is against the law. And we need to do everything that we can to continue to push back against that. It's not about hating anyone. It's not about telling anyone they can't do what they want to do as an adult. It's about protecting children from these things and it's about standing up for our religious freedom. I have the right to express my religious f opinion in my church, and that is not going to change, and I am not going to back down from that.